brothers and sisters remember something Allah Almighty will never mention the story of Luqman if there was no proper lesson in every word that was mentioned by Allah in the Quran. So firstly, he asks us to worship Allah correctly. Worship your maker. He is the one who is owed worship because the simple question that we always ask, where were you before you were born? Maybe 10 years before you were born. Wherever you were, when you leave this earth, you're going to go back to whoever you were with. You were with Allah. You're going to go back to Allah. So if I'm going to go back to the one who made me and I say, oh, you who made me, I worship you alone. I don't associate partners with you. Have mercy on me when I return to you and so on. Have I made mistakes? No, I haven't. I haven't. That's what Islam teaches you. Worship the one who made you, the one whom you are going to return to. It doesn't ever say the one you're going to go to. Always the term return is used to prove that you were there in the first place. When someone passes on, something happens uh, that is negative. As Muslims, we are taught to say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Right? Do you know what that means? Indeed, we all and everything belongs to Allah. And we're all going to be returned to Allah. Notice the word return. Raja'a means to come back. Which means I was there and I'm going to go back. You see, it doesn't say dhahaba. It doesn't say I'm going to Allah. I'm returning to Allah. That alone proves I was there. I was already with Allah. I'm going back to Allah. Now, naturally, when that happens, you realize he is owed worship. He made me. My brother.